the way that COVID impacted my mental health was just the way that like it made me more enclosed and more inside. I was diagnosed with depression and anxiety in 2014 and it's just been an ongoing thing since then and I finally felt like I was getting better and then COVID just kind of put a stop on everything and it took a really bad toll on my mental health. Social media was not like the best thing in, in the pandemic. I think especially because of COVID and the media, how it's portrayed Chinese people has been really negative. I think also worrying about my family in China has been a really big thing. But a lot of just the racism was m making it really hard to um, go on social media where we are expected to find social connection in isolation. The Black Lives Matter movement, it, it kind of, it was happening during the pandemic, you know, and like right in the middle of it, like right before the other lockdown. It impacted me as well. I experienced a lot of intimidation from that. Because I was isolating myself so much and because I don't work well online, it probably wouldn't have been that great for me to access support online. I tried to seek help for my mental health through university and I made an appointment and I was never followed up. I kind of got through it with the friends that I have. Before COVID, I was trying to break out of that cycle of, of a lot of like cultural stuff. I got stopped right in my tracks, really, trying to explore myself and trying to go into the workforce. Stability is a really huge one. Just being able to exist and not have to constantly think about what's going to happen next. Mm -hmm.